nothing today Had to see your face in a couple of days I feel amazing when I'm touching your face But I've been craving all the love that you gave I just wanna show you things Fancy cars and wedding rings You deserve everything, yeah I mean it, yeah I mean it Do it, everything you do is so amusing Do it, go and blow them with you to the music Can you blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby Let me know, girl, I'm gonna show you how to do it And we start real slow You just put your lips together and you come real close Can you blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby Here we go So what is happening guys, welcome back. I promise this is probably going to be one of the last ones where you just see me sitting in the chair at a screen, which is quite boring, I can understand that. Um, but as we talked about last week, um, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my plan, my program, I'm going to let you in on what my calories are to start with, my protein, I'm going to show you my training routine um, and all that good stuff. At the start, anyway, it's probably going to get tweaked. The food's definitely going to get changed, um, but pretty much just an insight of what my starting process looks like. So pretty much this is the first document that was sent through. Um, it's just obviously JBF review. That's my coach, um, George Bridgman. And this is just a document sent through with the training um, routine and specifications and stuff uh, linked to it. So I'm not going to bore you with all the ins and outs of it, stuff that you, well, most of you probably know anyway, progressive overload, rep ranges, tempo, all that good stuff. Um, the training split itself, now however, this one has already changed, so it was push, pull, rest, lower, upper, rest, rest. We've now had in another lower body session, so the way it looks now is pretty much Monday is an upper body day, Tuesday is a lower body day, Wednesday is still off, Thursday is a push day, Friday is a pull day, Saturday's legs again, and then Sunday off as well. So it means we've got still two days off, five days split with the, the day off in between just to help with rest and recovery. Um, so this is sort of null and void at the minute. But that's how um, we're running the training routine at the minute. Again, it's just a couple of like warm up exercises, some abs and stuff like that. Pretty much the meat and potato section is we've got push, and it looks like um, peg deck, reverse band at the Smith machine. We've got D handle cable press, which I absolutely love. I've never done it before, and now that I've started doing it, it's actually really, really good. Um, just to help fill the chest. So lads, if you're finding it, struggle, uh, or finding it a struggle to build your chest and get a good thickness to your chest, throw in these D-handle cable presses, um, which I'll show you um, in one of my videos anyway. Um, peg deck, standing lateral raise, seated dumbbell curves, 
cuff crossover extension. So all of these, I'm obviously over the, the coming weeks and stuff, I'm going to take you through my workouts and I'm going to show you me doing them. I'm going to uh, take you through them exercise by exercise and maybe do like tutorials and stuff along the way. But pretty much push day one, pull day one, then we've got leg day one, then we have the upper and lower day. Then we have a push day two, a pull day two, and a legs day two. So there's two rotations to it, okay? So it means I'm only doing one rotation every two weeks. So we've, as I said before, we've got upper body, lower body, then off, then we have push pull legs off. So the upper and lower body day stay the same and that's where we're really driving the progression and we're trying to beat the numbers every time we're in. We try to do that within every session, but those are the ones because you're doing them every single week, you'll see yourself chipping away at them and chipping away at them um, a lot more um, or a lot more progressively. Then the push pull legs, rotation one. Then the next week is push pull legs, rotation two. So it means push pull one is only getting done every fortnight as opposed to every other week. What that allows you to do is it allows you to still hit the muscle, switch up the exercises a little bit, switch up the rep ranges a wee bit, and it stops you from stagnating as quick. So if you're a beginner, you don't really need this many workouts, you just need to do the same thing over and over and over and over again to get better progress, faster progress and faster results. But as you go down the line, as you get more advanced with your training, as you've been doing this shit a lot longer, you do have to switch things up a wee bit more and there's certain things you have to consider and add in um, in order to keep progressing because you can't just progress every single day of every single week of every single month of every single year or else if it was that easy then we would all be walking about like Mr Olympia or Big Eddie Hall with strength um, it's just not possible so there is um, things in the program and stuff that need switched up as you go along and as you progress through your training and career if you want to put it that way so then again it's um, push one, pull one, legs one, then we've got upper, lower which stays the same every week and then we've got push two, pull two and lower two um, which obviously gets switched up then. As for my food, we are looking at 3420 calories on training days at the minute and 200 and or 200 jesus um 2800 calories on non-training days the reason why we do that is just to help with recovery and stuff a wee bit more and your body doesn't really require the amount of carbs on non-training days that it does on training days to be honest i don't do that normally i just run it the same every single day and it's the way i work it with 99.9 percent .9 of my clients is we just keep the same target every single day because the only thing that matters is the overall weekly amount of calories again just like the training whenever you're new to it it's about being consistent doing the same thing day in day out the same is to be said for your food as you get a wee bit more advanced as you get a wee bit more experienced there's certain things that you can start adding in taking away i.e the carbs on non-training days where you don't really need them um, you don't have the, the need for that extra fuel and that extra energy so you can take them out and then it just means you can have more food on training days to give yourself that wee bit more energy that's the reasoning behind it because i get asked that question quite a bit is why do you have training day food and non-training day food that's the reason 99.9% .9 of people probably you watching this don't need to do that if you just keep the same um, target day in day out that's totally fine okay that's more than adequate and it gets you into that rhythm and um, uh, gets you used to doing that protein at the minute is 220 grams per day um, or slightly more I sort of give myself a wee bit of a waiver with that one um, training days I say 500 carbs 60 fat or 80 fat um, so it's just I don't like throwing out these numbers really because then people are comparing and asking why are you having this instead of this and why are you doing this instead of that this is mine my plan everybody's plan is going to be different so do not take these numbers and think that oh i'm just going to do what ricky does 
um, and I'm going to copy what he's saying in his videos and you're going to get the same progress, same results because it's 99.9% .9 guaranteed that you're not, okay? Um, so don't take my word for um, all this stuff and just do it yourself. Um, steps are at 10,000 steps a day. Surprisingly, that's quite freaking hard because I sit at a desk most of the day, I'm getting back to clients, I'm doing work, I'm doing catch up calls, I'm doing programming, and trying to get 10,000 steps in a day is rather challenging. So I am finding that um, a bit of a pain in the arse, to be totally honest, but I'm having to get up and go get steps, go out walks. So it's, it's all good, it can still be done. No cardio yet, um, which is a bonus, but I would say the food and the cardio is probably going to come in next week because um, we're looking to sort of pull the trigger a wee bit because I have a holiday coming up in a few weeks time um, in the middle of prep so we'll pull the trigger a wee bit earlier we're going to tighten things up so it'll be excited next week to sort of tell you what the changes are so keep an eye for that um, at the minute I'm sitting around 99 kilo I'm kind of hovering there for the past two weeks or so which is good um, it's my body sort of set point now so it means Pulling back on the food, I'd say maybe a few hundred calories. Um, we should see me starting to really tighten up. And then next week we'll do a physique update and stuff as well and let you in on that. But um, you should have seen one of my pull days before watching me ramble for a little bit. Um, so I'll be sure to take you through my training sessions, show you all the training sessions that I've got there, um, take you through them step by step. We'll let you in on um, the tweaks and adjustments next week and what else physique update next week as well so i promise that will come next week um, and we can sort of see where the starting point is whenever we pull the trigger and tighten up um, so keep an eye out for next week um, if you would like to see anything else by all means let me know promise that this is the last one that's going to be sort of sitting here just looking at me sitting in a chair we will sort of take you behind the scenes a wee bit more um, and sort of vlog style status it's just i wanted to do these first couple of videos and like let you in on the plan the program the ins and outs of everything at the minute um, and then we can just batter on with the more vloggish style um, videos but yeah that is the plan look forward to seeing you next week if you haven't already like and subscribe and follow along and again messages on instagram and stuff um, take a screenshot and tag me in your story um, to show me that you're watching and drop me a message and let me know if there's anything else you would like to see from me um, but stay tuned and follow the journey